Hi, this is Deadman. If you're watching this video, I assume you're old enough to see gore, violence, swearing, and general adult content. If you aren't old enough, come back with some ID. Or a fake one. Ugh. One fateful night, darkness consumed Destiny Island. As Riku disappeared into the darkness, my heart managed to escape to safety inside Sora. The darkness overwhelmed Sora, and he awoke in an unfamiliar town. Dearly beloved is always a win, especially when it's jazzy. It's supremely appropriate to start us off with a dive into the heart sequence by playing Destati first. The world tour mode has you fly around in your gummy ship selecting the world's tracks you wish to play. Led by a mysterious voice, Sora stepped through the door that marked the start of his journey. The bulk of the story is Kairi giving a brief synopsis of everyone's adventures. One annoying thing is each time you open a new section of the world tour, it plays out a very slow cutscene of each world getting individually activated. One small detail I adore is that all the enemies are the correct ones that appear in the worlds you play through. Like, yeah, it's a small detail, but that's what makes games like this wonderful. Another small detail that's nice is you have four different teams to play as, so if you have a preference, you can pick your favorite. So it's hard to quantify with the video, but one thing that's bad is not knowing what instrument of the song is going to play next, and it's really only a problem if you've been listening to these songs for, say, 20 years and know them all by heart. As is, it's not really a big deal, so no points knocked off or added. Maleficent and Pete were causing all sorts of trouble with their plan to take over the real world through the Datascape. Datasora drew power from the connections with his friends in his heart, and used it to fight and forge a path forward. He defeated Sora's Heartless, the bug in the data that had corrupted the journal. You know, it's things like this that are nice. Even though Coded's adventure wasn't as important as some of the others, it still gets a section in the recap. Yeah, people shouldn't skip any of the games. You're right, they are important. Just like- No, don't bring it up again. I'm, uh, gonna ignore that and press on. The Kingdom Hearts 3 songs are a bit of a letdown since it's just the world songs, but more importantly, the scenes that play over the songs are way too distracting. You know I love me a point of no return. As with most Kingdom Hearts games, the big main important plot details happen at the climax of the story. <sighs> has a flashback to being younger, and maybe it's just a first-person point of view, but this is so stressful. If you truly possess the power of a princess of heart, your heart will resonate with the Keyblade wielders, and I believe you can lead me to that wielder's world. That is the only possible way to save ours. You see, this is more than an experiment. It's hope. Xehanort is... kind of a good guy? No, he's still the worst. Plus now he's manipulating a kid. You're the one who keeps messing with my fate. If it weren't for everything that you've done, then Sora and everyone would be safe. Even if you're not really here, and this is just a memory or illusion, I won't let you walk away. You're right, I set you adrift in another world and drastically alter the course of your fate. In the end, you were destroyed by my hand, paving the way for Sora's disappearance. <laughs> huh? 
You've become quite the Keyblade wielder. For a retired master, yes, it prepared you remarkably well. Kairi is fierce, and even if she's not strong enough to take on Master Xehanort solo, she's still super brave. But there's nothing for you to find here. I'm afraid the answer you seek lies in memories that are long gone. I have had enough of this! I am hoping that we get choreography like this going forward. There is so much ferocity to the short fight. <gasps> ah, look who joined us. As I thought, your voice can't reach us here. Initially, I thought Sora showing up took a moment away from Kairi, but then I realized that this was the purpose of what Kairi was up to. Have some connection with Sora be established so she can find him. The three realms of our world. Light, darkness, and between. These are all places we can travel to, because they are on our side. This also includes the worlds of memories, data, and dreams. If I am correct, then this other side of our world, from which voices cannot reach, must be a place outside of our reality. Namely, it must be unreality, or fiction. Sure, fiction seems a little silly of a label, but relative to the characters, it is fiction. It's a fun spin on things, and I can't wait to see what worlds encompass the fiction worlds. I want to go. Kyrie, that's not... <sighs> yeah, I know. I want to go with you. But... I know that I can't. I need to finish training. I need to become stronger. And when I do, I'll be right there next to you and Sora. It sucks that Kairi doesn't get to go with Riku on this adventure, but you gotta respect that she knows she needs more training. Of course, the end credits are a song you can play through. Riku went alone? But that's way too dangerous! I have to go after him now! Do not be hasty, Mickey. Mickey is a ride or die bestie. I task you with the investigation of this new world, and how it is related to the ancient Keyblade Masters. But how? You'll begin in the world of Scala Ad Kailum. My sequel senses are tingling! So. There is a 150 songs here, and not a single one of them is Forza Del Oscarita. Zero out of ten? Could have used more loot boxes. Well, that's just silly. If you love the game, it shouldn't be that big of a deal for one little song to not be here. Yeah, I actually agree with Lapis here. Even I love the game and its fun premise. Ha <laughs> ha! Tricked you into saying something nice. I hate you. Melody of Memory is actually my favorite Kingdom Hearts game because of the music. I'm only half joking. This game was a fever dream because sure, this is absolutely something I'd want to play, but never thought it would actually happen. 
Also, a little fun fact is, while meaning sky in Japanese, Kairi also means melody or song in French, so that ended up working out amazingly. The shortness of the video is directly proportional to the shortness of the story, but this bit of story was meant to cap off the Darkseeker saga, and nothing more. I remember being confused that people wanted more from the story, but I pretty much assumed it would be like this, and I think it's all the better for it, as we get a bite-sized adventure meant to be an epilogue. The music is obviously awesome, as it encompasses the majority of the Kingdom Hearts OSTs through the years. The gameplay isn't too exciting, but it's so cool to be able to play through songs that I've listened to since the series' inception, and I think I had an edge playing some of them since I have obsessively listened to these songs for so long. In closing, I truly love this game as a close to this saga of Kingdom Hearts. I have no idea what lies ahead, but I'm ready for it. Here's to another 20 years to my favorite series ever. Thank you for watching, and may your heart be your guiding key. I need to become stronger. And when I do, I'll be right there next to you and Sora. I didn't think it would end this way. End? The journey doesn't end here. Death is just another path, one that we almost take. <laughs>